Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make this Valentine's Day breakfast. You can make it for your boyfriend, your mom, your dad, your girlfriend, you're doing a family brunch, whatever. But I'm gonna show y'all how to make this cause it's bomb. So if you wanna see how I get busy in the kitchen, then keep on watching. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna start with the cheesecake filling that we're gonna spread in between the toast. So I'm gonna start with that first. It doesn't matter what order you go in, I'm just starting with that first. So for the cheesecake filling, you're gonna need eight ounces of cream cheese, two and a half tablespoons of sugar, so this is one. Oh, and the cream cheese needs to be at room temperature, by the way, make it easier to stir, girl. If you don't do that, you're gonna be mad at yourself trying to stir that. Or you can use um like a mixer, but I'm hand mixing it, so yeah. Anyway, that was one tablespoon of sugar, two tablespoons, half tablespoon. And then two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So this is one teaspoon and two. And then I'm just taking a whisk to mix this up. All right, so once that's all mixed in together, you can set that to the side, or you can sit in the refrigerator or whatever. We're not gonna need that till later, so I'm gonna set this to the side. Now we're gonna make, what I wanna do next? We can do the glaze. Okay, so for the glaze, and by the way, these recipes aren't mine. These are just recipes that I found, and I ended up combining a couple that I found because I wasn't really sure how I wanna do it. I've seen some people doing the cheesecake filling, like spread between the layers of toast. I've seen some people just using the glaze, like between the layers and on top or whatever. I didn't know which one to choose or which one tasted better, so I did both. So I did the cheesecake filling in between and the glaze on top. So that's how I decided to do it. But yeah, for the cream cheese glaze, you're gonna need two ounces of cream cheese softened, two tablespoons of unsalted butter softened as well. You're gonna need half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one cup of powdered sugar sifted, and I got this from Kroger. And then you need one fourth cup of evaporated milk. And then I'm just gonna whisk all this together until everything is combined. Make sure you're scraping them sides, girl. Get all that up in there. All right, so once you have this all mixed up, you can set this to the side and we're gonna start on the French toast, the red velvet custard. All right, so for the red velvet custard that we're gonna be dipping the toast in, you're gonna need four eggs. One cup of buttermilk. Four tablespoons of sugar. And I do heaping tablespoons because that's what the black in me is telling me to do. One tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder. I did more so one and a quarter tablespoon of cocoa powder. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then your red food coloring. But I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up first before I add the food coloring. So. And like I said, you can use a mixer for all of these steps, but I ain't gonna do all that. You know, all I need is this whisk right here. Y'all aren't gonna be tired, but it's cool. You ain't work out today, no way. Y'all go ahead and like this video. You know, new content, okay? Let me know what y'all think of this content. Y'all want me to do more cooking videos. You all know your girl be throwing down. I gets busy in the kitchen. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my red food coloring and not really a certain measurement for this, just add it till it's red, really. Or at least as red as you want it. I hope I have enough because it's looking a little slim. Thank you. 
All right, so everything's all mixed and ready. Let's make some toast. And for my bread, for the toast, y'all, I'm just using my good old trusty Captain John's bread. You can use whatever bread you want, whatever bread you like with your French toast. I know some people prefer thicker bread. I really don't care. Captain John's ain't never did me wrong. So yeah, you can use, you know, thicker sliced toast. You can use Hawaiian rolls. I've been seeing people make French toast, like just regular French toast with Hawaiian rolls. You could do that. That might be really good. I probably should have tried that. But yeah, I'm just using my good old Captain John's. I ain't never steered me wrong. All right, so I'm gonna put the stove on low heat and I'm just adding some butter to the pan. And you can use whatever pan you want, your little skillet, if you're using a griddle, whatever you're cooking your breakfast on, that you normally cook your toast on, whatever. Find something to cook it on. And I just have a um, bowl over here lined with paper towels to put the toast in as I cook it, you know, get it out the way. All right, and all you're gonna do is dip your bread in this mix right here in the red velvet custard. And add it to the pan. It's really a simple recipe, y'all. I don't know how people make cooking so hard. It's really not. But yeah, you're just gonna cook the toast, uh, flip it, cook it on both sides so it's brown. While that's going, you can be working on your meat and tater tots. You can use whatever meat you want. I'm gonna be using these sausage strips, maple flavored sausage strips. I never had these. I typically eat turkey bacon or turkey sausage. I don't like, you know, regular bacon. I don't like it, but I just typically don't eat it. I normally eat turkey bacon or turkey sausage, but I don't have either of those. We got regular bacon, but I don't eat that. And I saw these in Kroger, these sausage strips, and I ain't never heard of these. I started to get them but I didn't, but my mom got them. So I'm gonna use these and yeah, we're gonna do these in the air fryer. So, and as well as the tater tots. And these are the tater tots that I'm using right here. These are also going in the air fryer. So yeah, while that's cooking, you can be working on that. All right, so for the air fryer, air fry 400 degrees and it said eight to 10 minutes. So we're just gonna stick with nine. So we're just gonna go ahead and start it. Okay, so we can take these out. All right, so the air fryer is preheated, so I'm gonna add the sausage strip. I'm talking about that thing said eight to 10 minutes. It don't, it said five to eight minutes. But it's okay, we'll just stop it a minute early. Okay, it should be time to flip these, yeah. Y'all know with the air fryer, you gotta flip it halfway through. So that's what I'm doing. No one told me that cooking and filming was going to be this difficult. Okay, back in they go. are done. I'm gonna put these on the plate. Just have a plate up here lined with paper towels. All right, so for the tater tots, I'm just cooking them, you know, according to the instructions. On the back, so for the air fryer, it says 360 degrees, nine to 10 minutes. So let's preheat again. All right, toast is done, tater tots are cooking. Now we can do the eggs. The eggs the last thing, eggs are always last, eggs take no time. All right, so I'm gonna just spray my pan with some cooking spray. And salt and pepper. I don't like a lot of salt, I just do a little bit of salt and a lot of pepper. Cause I like a lot of pepper on my eggs. 
So yeah. And I'm checking on the tater tots right now. So, shaking them up. All right, I'm just gonna add this to the pan. And I like cheese in my eggs, so I'm gonna add mild cheddar. And I don't like my eggs wet neither, y'all. Mm -mm. I don't need to see nothing wet on my eggs. All right, so I just added the eggs to this bowl, but eggs are done, and it sounds like the tater tots are done. So everything is done. Time to plate up. Tater tots are done. Ooh, so golden and crispy. Yeah. All right, so let's start with our toast. And by the way, you can get creative with the toast as well. You can cut it out in the hearts if you want to. Have a little heart-shaped French toast. You know, do it how you want. I'm actually gonna cut these. Okay, so let me show y'all how we can do this toast, y'all, because this is the best part. So, so you're gonna take the cheesecake filling that we made earlier, you're gonna spread that. I'm gonna put a good little bit on mine because this stuff is good. And then, same thing over here. Okay, like that. Then you're gonna take your glaze that we made, the cream cheese glaze, drizzle that on top. And this stuff right here is so good, y'all. Like, I'm glad I combined the two. Like, I didn't pick between one or the other because, like, it's like all the recipes I was seeing, people was doing one or the other. I'm so glad I combined them because it's just like, it's so good. So we're gonna put that on top. I want a lot of this, cause it was good. And then you can take, you know, whatever else. You can drizzle chocolate on top if you want to. You can add strawberries, chocolate chips, whatever. But I'm gonna cut up a strawberry and put on top. And powdered sugar, I'm gonna add some powdered sugar on top. And top it off with some whipped cream. Boom, and then you just add everything else to your plate. So I'm gonna just add my eggs. My sausage strips. and tater tots and you could do breakfast potatoes whatever you want and if you want to be fancy make it look you know real done up like you ain't get these tater tots out the frozen section and throw them in the air fryer garnish with a little bit of parsley and same thing on your eggs and boom beautiful beautiful all that's left to do is eat it hold on let, let's give this another moment just a moment of silence okay look at that you can't tell me I didn't do that. Okay, that's enough of this, I'm ready to eat. All right, y'all, let's do the taste test. I came back in my room where the lighting is better because the lighting is terrible in the kitchen. But yeah, time for the taste test. All right, and I had this before, so I already know it's good, but we're gonna start with the toast. Yeah, that's it right there. And I tweaked the recipe a little bit from how I made it the first time, and I like it better this way, so I'm glad I did that. Ooh, it's so good, y'all. The cheesecake filling and the glaze, that's what really set it off. Okay, let's taste the, let's taste these sausage strips cause I ain't never had these before. It's pretty good, it tastes like sausage. It's just a strip. I like the maple flavor though. Okay, let's try these eggs. I love cheese eggs. Bomb every time this is how i always make my scrambled eggs but you can of course cook your eggs how you want to if you like your eggs runny and all that you go ahead Ooh, i ain't ate all day this is so good to me Woo! if you got a boyfriend and you cooking this for them and he don't marry you throw them away let me try these tater tots i know you could put ketchup or whatever on your tater tots i really don't care if i have ketchup or anything on them i should put some hot sauce on it but they're pretty good i like breakfast potatoes but they ain't have none at the store. I love me some good seasoned 
breakfast potatoes ain't nothing like it yeah i had to go with the tater tots because they didn't have none it's a 10 out of 10 for me now you could do this for mother's day father's day birthdays whatever but don't you be throwing down like this for just anybody now you know when i made it for my boyfriend i made it for him see i was supposed to make this for valentine's day but when i saw the recipe i was like well i want this now so i made it like a few weeks ago and he ate everything on that plate and nothing left and my mom ate some too and she had all hers so i ain't just saying this because i made it it's really fire but how i ended up doing this is because I don't like regular French toast because I'm not a big fan of cinnamon and stuff. So I know well, my boyfriend likes regular French toast, but I don't. And if I'm finna be cooking breakfast, I'm gonna eat it too. Like, you know, I wanna be able to eat it too. That don't make no sense. You know, that don't make no sense me cooking something that I don't eat. But yeah, so I came across this and I was like, well, this will be a good, you know, alternative so that I can eat it too. Um, That way he can eat it and I can eat it. Well, he had never had this before, but he really liked it. So yeah, so I had to find something that I was gonna be able to eat too. But yeah, like I said, you can get creative with this. You can do heart shaped toast. You can, you can pin these little sausage strips in the shape of a heart you know you really can get creative but i can do all that so Whew. well i am full now y'all your girl is stuck but yeah let me know what y'all think of this video the new content cooking videos like this video if you want to see more but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed let me know if you tried this out send me pictures on instagram tag me whatever but yeah that's it for this video hope y'all enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl channel please because she versatile and thank you and make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when i post because you don't want to do that you don't want to do that so make sure your post notifications are on and i will see y'all in my next video bye